welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be an exciting video for you guys so today's video is going to be all about the anastasia glow kit i wanted to talk about this to you guys because a lot of you guys have like literally hunted me down on like every social media that i have like on instagram twitter snapchat and has asked me um what do i think about this product and if i like this product um um, and do I think it's worth the money? And I was like, why not make a video for you guys today and let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on this product and if I think it's worth the money and why I like it and just, I really just wanted to touch base on this product um, since a lot of you guys have asked me and um, so yeah, so that's the video I'm gonna be doing for you guys. So let's just get started. Okay, so before I get started, if you guys notice if you guys start noticing that I keep looking down or looking at something, um, that's because I did write notes on this product. I really, really wanted to touch base on everything I can possibly think about this product. So I really, like, honestly, like, wrote a lot of notes and wrote stuff that I can think of. Think of. So, um, so yeah, don't mind that. If you notice that I'm looking the certain way, just know that I'm looking at my notes. So. Let's start off with the product itself. So before I start, I just wanted to say I only have this one specifically because she did come out with two, but I only have one and I'll explain that in a later. I'll explain that in a bit. Anastasia came out with two different shades. She, so she came out with two different palettes to target different skin tones. So the other palette that I don't own is called That Gleam. And I believe that one um, is more targeted for like fair to light to medium skin tones. And then this one that I own right now is called That Glow. And this one is targeted for medium to deep skin tones. But... Honestly, I really do think that, um, honestly, like this product, it's so universal. I don't feel like you have to be a certain skin tone um, to use this product or to use the other palette. Um, I honestly do think that you can be any skin tone and use like both of this these palettes because I do feel like they're so universal and I do feel like these palettes are more on preference um I do feel like it depends on your preference on what type of highlighting shades you like like for example for me I personally love golden highlights so I definitely leaned more towards this one so um because because um the that glow palette this one right here i do feel like is more of a golden type of highlighting palette so it's more golden it has more golden shades and is more golden bronzy type of colors and i love those types of highlight so i definitely leans more towards this one and if you really like champagne pearly whites peachy type of highlights i do honestly think the that gleam palette is so perfect for you because it's like right in your cup of tea if you know what i'm talking about i do feel like this is definitely in my cup of tea um so it's kind of on your preference but i do definitely want to get my hands on the other one as well because it does have beautiful beautiful shades but i personally wanted to try one out first because i wanted to test it out see if i like it see if i like the formula and I wanted to see um, how it works or like if it works pretty well and I got this one because of the color selection the shades and the golden bronzy type of highlights because like I said it's in my cup of tea so um so yes that's just something that I wanted to throw as like a um, backstory to this product basically so let's talk about the price. So the price of these are $40 each. Um, I purchased mine from Macy's. I don't know if you can purchase it any at any other store, to be honest. I don't know if you can purchase it at like a Sephora or Ulta. I think it might only be exclusively to like Macy's. And obviously you can get it on the Anastasia um, website. But I think you can, the only store you can physically get it is at Macy's. I'm not too sure. I will research more on that and then I will definitely comment down below for you guys and let you guys know um, if you can also purchase purchase these anywhere else. Um, so, but I purchased mine at Macy's and it's funny because when I went to Macy's I thought that they were going to be sold out but they had a whole bunch of whole bunch of these in stock. So I definitely would say check your local Macy's and definitely um, see if they have um, 
have these in stock I'm pretty sure that they might because the when I went they had a whole bunch so hopefully they have a whole bunch of these in stock for you guys so moving on to the product itself so this is how it looks like so it has four different shades and I think it's definitely definitely worth it because I do think um, because I do feel like you're basically paying ten dollars for each um, shade and I do honestly think it's so so worth it because it's it's actually really good and the product itself actually holds a lot a lot of product um, like these ones so this holds about 0.26 ounces and then the for example the Mary Luminizer that I have the compact this one holds about 0.30 ounces and as you can see like it's basically almost relevant um, to the same size of this um, product is basically almost almost has the same product um, but it's just you know a couple of ounces off and as you can see so when I put this right here it is a little little smaller but it is basically relatively about almost the same size or like and carries almost around the same product so that's a really good thing a really good plus because you do get actually a really good amount of product and I do feel like you basically are paying ten dollars for each shade and you get four, four different shades yeah it's forty dollars but I honestly think it's actually really really worth it if you really think about it in that aspect um and then um as far as like the pigmentation and all that the pigmentation is there it is really on point the pigmentation is amazing it's super super pigmented um, the formula is actually really really great as well it's super smooth super buttery super um, creamy like it feels really nice like it feels really like creamy but powdery like a creamy powdery type of consistency if you've ever felt the um, Mary Luminizer um, it kind of feels like that and the reason why I like the Mary Luminizer or which is why it was my favorite because the formula was super super nice and super smooth and that's how I feel about this formula it's actually really really nice so soft and on point with the quality and the the pigmentation it's also super easy to blend um, it's it blends super nicely and just it's so seamlessly nice like it just blends so nice and seamlessly the thing i really like is that it's removable i don't know if she has different shades she might come out with different shades maybe i'm not sure don't quote me on that um just because i feel like because they do pop out or she might just refill have like refillable ones like with the contour kits um she has refillable shades so you don't have to buy purchase a whole new palette so which is why i think it's super unique because if you wanted to just let's say you only liked one shade out of the whole palette and you ran out um i'm pretty sure she might come out with uh, more and then so you can just pop it in. I'm not sure but I hope she does because I mean I feel like that's why she made them poppable but a lot of her products pop out so <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I don't know don't quote me on that. I also do feel like this is so travel travel friendly just because it is super small and compact. But another reason why I think it's travel friendly is because you can pop these out and put them in a Z palette. Um, for me, when I like to travel, I like to use a Z palette. Just put all my shadows that I would use and then all my like blushes and bronzers, like my poppable ones that I can put in a Z palette so I can just carry one full palette and I don't have to carry multiple different palettes. This is why I think it's super travel friendly, just the fact that you can pop these out and pop it, pop it in a Z palette. So that's definitely a plus for me. The wear time is just really good. It's actually lasts a pretty long time. Um, I've actually wore this one time for about at least eight hours straight and I've, it was still there by the end of my eight hour shift. Like it was the highlight was still there and glowing and on point. I didn't have to touch touch up on the highlights. So I definitely do think the wear time is actually really good. And I do feel like if you also spray Fix Plus with this, I do feel like it'll last even longer. And then as far as cons go, I honestly don't think that there's any cons or I don't feel like that there's any cons to these. I honestly don't think that there's any cons to these, to be honest. Um, the only thing I can think of that I feel like would be an issue for some people is that it doesn't have a mirror because it has like this big, you know, cardboard thing, you know, some people would expect 
expected to have a mirror but honestly like that's that doesn't bother me um maybe it might be an issue for some people but for me it's not an issue so I don't consider it con maybe it might be for some people okay and another thing with this product is that I noticed that for some reason um, this product works better with these types of brushes um, I don't know why but I noticed so this is the morphe m501 brush I did notice that this product works really well with this type of brush it's like a little taper like small tapered brush this brush I believe isn't meant for highlighting but I really like it for highlighting and I noticed that it works really really nice and well and it just comes off so nicely pigmented with this and it's so much easier to blend with this type of brush and I really like fan brushes and that's what I've been using with my highlighters but for some reason I noticed that it wasn't working well well with a fan brush um, the fan brush that I, I have is from Shani cosmetics or Shani however you pronounce it. it I really like this fan brush and I do feel like fan brushes work really nice with highlighters but for some reason I felt like um, the fan brush wasn't working or wasn't it didn't work as well as the morphe brush right here I did feel like it was coming out less pigmented um, with this type of brush and it was just it just wasn't coming out really nice and I felt like it was a little bit harder to blend with this type of brush maybe that's just by might be me I'm not sure um, might just be me honestly but I just noticed that was just one thing that I noticed so I really like to use this morphe brush to highlight um, or you can use the Anastasia highlighting brush if you have that I've, I don't own that um, I do plan on purchasing it though but I don't have that um, but if you do have that you can use that as well so let's move on to the swatches of these bad boys Okay, so the first shade of the palette is Sunburst. So as you can see, this color is super, super gorgeous. This is my favorite shade out of the whole palette. This one is like a golden champagne type of color. It's so gorgeous. It's beautiful. And I love, love the shade. Okay, next shade is Golden Bronze. So this shade, as you can see, self-explanatory, it is a golden bronze type of shade. So this color is so gorgeous. I feel like it's such a gorgeous highlight if you really want that bronzy glow, like that J-Lo, Beyonce type of glow. It's so gorgeous for that, and I do feel like this is perfect for summer to like create that bronzy type of glow. This next shade is called Bubbly. So this color, I feel like it definitely matches, the name actually matches the shade, I feel like, because I feel like it's such like, such a cutesy bubbly type of highlight if that makes any sense i do feel like this color is more natural and it's such a really like it gives that natural type of highlight to your face it is like a golden like peachy pink type of highlight it's like so cute and flattering and i feel like it's so perfect if you really want that natural type of glow Okay, so last shade in the palette, this shade is called Dipping in Gold. So this shade, I do feel like, is such a beautiful, beautiful gold color. Um, I do feel like it's such, it's like a light gold color. I feel like it's more like on the cooler tone of gold, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but I do feel like it's like a cool tone gold type of shade. And it's super beautiful and flattering, and it's just gorgeous. So that's all for the swatches of these. So again, um, overall, to just touch base real quick. So you get four shades. It's smooth, it's buttery, it's soft, it's just really pigmented. Um, it's easy to blend, it's removable, you can pop it in the Z palette. Uh, it's travel friendly and the wear time is on point. And do I think it's worth the money? Yes, I honestly do think it's worth the money because you do I do honestly feel like you're basically getting each shade for ten dollars and I think it's worth it um, you get four shades and the quality is amazing the quality is there it's super pigmented and buttery and I definitely definitely think it's worth the money um, would I ever repurchase it again yes so if Anastasia didn't come out with um, didn't come out with re refillable shades or just didn't come out with any new shades i would definitely repurchase this again if i had to i definitely repurchase this if i ran out 
I'll repurchase this. If I had to rate this product, I would honestly rate it a 10 out of 10. I know that is saying a lot. So that is saying a lot. But I honestly do feel like it deserves the hype and I do feel like it deserves the hype in general. Um, again on on my channel i want this cha my channel to be super honest and i'm being super honest with you guys this this is just how i feel and this is how i feel about the product i do feel like it is such a good product and i would honestly rate it a 10 out of 10 and i know it's saying a lot but honestly because when i i really loved my mary luminizer and it's still hands down my favorite one of my favorite highlighters but honestly this is actually really really amazing and i do honestly think it's on the same level as my Mary Luminizer. If you guys have been around my channel long enough, you guys know that this is my favorite highlighter and you guys know that I've been using this like almost in every single tutorial. So, girl, this is gonna be my new baby. You're gonna start seeing this in a lot more of my tutorials. That is it for the video for you guys today. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got, guys got the gist of what I was trying to say. I hope I touched base on everything that I can. If I forgot to mention anything, um, definitely let me know below and then I'll reply back to your comments or if you guys have any more questions, definitely comment down below and let me know and then I'll reply back to you as soon as I can. I love reading your guys' comments. I it just it makes my day. Like seriously, your guys' comments really make my day. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know if you guys like this product, if you own this product, and if you've tried this out. Let me know if you really, really like this product or how it works for you or um, what do you think of the product, basically. If you don't own this product, definitely comment below and let me know if you will be purchasing this product. Um, so yeah. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the overall review mini review on this um definitely give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it if you guys didn't you guys know the drill you can give it a thumbs down and don't forget to follow all my social media links my instagram twitter facebook and snapchat i will leave those all linked down below for you guys um I love, love talking to you guys on all my social media platforms. I really love connecting with you guys, like especially on Twitter and on Snapchat. Those are my favorite ways to talk to you guys. So definitely follow me on those two. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all your love and support you guys give me on this channel. Um, and thank you guys so much. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.